episode two mustache. Let's make his eyebrows. Shift A, add a curve, choose path. Change the alignment to view. Position the handles like this. Add a cube with Shift A, scale it by 0.3 on the Z and Y axis, and then scale it down. Position it like this in edit mode. Add a lot of edge loops, I use 13. Add edge loops like this. Set pivot point to active element. Select these four edges with this middle vertex last and scale by 0.7. Delete the back vertices. Dissolve these edge loops since I jumped the gun. Fill in the back with faces. Delete these faces. Now put back our 13 edge loops. Select this edge loop with the back vertex last. Turn on proportional editing. Change the fall off to sharp. Scale by zero on the Z and Y axis. Adjust the fall off to get the shape you want. Do the same on the other side. Select all and shade smooth. Scale down on the Z axis. Select these bottom edges and scale them up a bit. Add a curve modifier. Add the path to the object field. Duplicate this object and apply the curve modifier. Scout down on the Y axis, position on his head. Add a mirror modifier and use the face as the mirror object. Put the old eyebrow and the curve in the archive collection and name this new object Eyebrows. Now for his mustache. The lighting in my reference made it difficult to tell where the top of his mustache was. I quickly created an outline for myself out of a path. I updated the reference available for download, so you should be able to skip this part. Add a cube, scout down in edit mode. Put an edge loop down the middle with Ctrl R, delete one half. Add a mirror modifier. Select the top vertices and pull down on the Z axis. Select the back faces and move them forward. Add a subdivision modifier and delete the back face. Grab these two upper front edges and move them back. This is a pretty complicated shape to box model, reposition stuff similar to how you see me doing here. Select these four vertices and extrude out. I like to turn off optimal display so I can see the edges of my mesh. Delete the back face, or if you're me, delete a random face. With these vertices selected, extrude out again. Position and extrude again. Now just really quickly fix this so nobody knows you don't know what you're doing and delete the actual faces you were originally going for. Grab these backside vertices and move them back. Shift things around on the Y axis to better match the reference. Select this lower face and extrude down and scale. Do the same with this face. This will work better if you delete the back faces on the newly extruded stuff, which I didn't do. Select all and smooth shade, and it looks kinda gross. So let's ungrossify it by shimmying some stuff around. This would totally work, but I can do better. Apply your modifiers from top to bottom. Select and delete half the mustache. Add a mirror modifier. This is gonna be our retopo guide, so add a subdivision modifier. Move stuff around to match the reference. Enable proportional editing with a smooth fall off and attempt to smooth stuff out. Delete these back faces if you haven't already Try to smooth out these half sphere shapes. If you have trouble making this shape, add UV spheres, then position and scale them to assist with the retopoing. When it looks roughly how you want it to, add a plane in object mode. Rotate it by 90 degrees on the X axis and enable snapping. Choose project onto face. Move the plane off to the side and add a mirror modifier. Move this plane towards the middle and scout down on the Z axis. Disable any objects that might be in the way. I disabled my light plane. And snap these vertices to the mustache. Extrude out edges as you go. Or extrude out individual vertices and fill in the faces. Add edge loops as needed and snap those to the guide as well. Smooth things out as you go. And it's basically the same thing for the rest of the mustache. You might want to increase the subdivision level on your retopo guide to get a smoother shape to snap to. Try to get something that looks like this. Move the mustache guide into the archive collection and name this new object mustache. I'll select this back loop 
hit F to make one big face. Cut this face up into a bunch of tries with the knife tool and join. This is an example of a pull, which is a vertex with a bunch of edges coming off of it. There are some instances where this is considered a major no-no. In this case, and in the case of most video game characters, it's cool. Especially on the side of an object that you won't ever directly see. It'll save us a ton of geometry. Select this outer edge, hit Alt-M, choose Faces by Edges. This will disconnect the back face from the front face. Alternatively, you can mark these edges as sharp and use an edge split modifier. I'll go into that more later when we get to Mario's clothing. That looks pretty good, so let's move on to his ears. Add a 16 vertex circle. Rotate by 90 on the X axis. Position it somewhere out of the way. Select this vertex, and with proportional turned on, shape it like this. Select the entire edge loop. We should probably turn off snapping for the time being. And change our pivot point to median point. With proportional off, extrude and scale a loop of faces in. Move them forward on the Y axis. Extrude and scale on another face. Extrude in another face, move this one back on the Y axis. Alt select the outer loop and extrude back a loop of faces. Extrude again and scale down. Move this loop down a bit. Extrude back, scale it down, and move it on the Z axis. Position it about here. Scale on the X axis. Do a little scaling and reshaping to smooth stuff out. Alt select this edge loop. Hit Shift S, cursor to select it. Add a 16 vertex circle. Rotate by 90 on the X axis. Position and scale it. Turn on proportional editing. Grab this vertex. Move it back on the Y axis. Now connect these two loops. Even though they're both 16 vertex circles, it won't be the easiest to connect them. Use the knife tool to cut in here. Select these new edges, change the pivot point to active element. Select this bottom vertex last. Turn off proportional editing and scale these edges on the Y axis. Select all and shade smooth. Alt select this edge loop and grid fill it. Change the offset until it lines up. Add a subdivision modifier. Select these vertices and move them back slightly. Move your ear over to check the size. And then roughly scale it. Select these vertices and move them forward on the Y axis with proportional editing on. Move this back a little, and these forward a little. Position and rotate the ear into place. And that's worked surprisingly well. Move stuff to fit the reference and smooth stuff out. Add a mirror modifier. Use the face as the mirror object. Now I'm going to destroy the ear so it fits on his head. So I'm going to duplicate it and make an archive version in case I want to go back. Select and delete these faces. Enable snapping to vertex and snap the corresponding ear vertices to the head. Behind the ear, extrude up some vertices and make faces. Don't make faces between the ear and head vertices since they're separate objects. Edge slide this vertex. Make a face here. The shading down here could be better. So move stuff around and add in more geometry. Try to limit the face twisting if you can manage. That's looking good. Not perfect, but good enough. Merge these two vertices with M. And smooth out this back ear opening by sliding vertices around. Now just smooth things out and mess around with the topology to your liking. If you manually add faces, occasionally recalculate your normals with Alt N. I spent some time working on my ears topology. I think I changed it again later. It's not perfect, but it works. Thank you for watching. Episode 2 Mustache!